la di da di da just a normal day. Let's go to the car. What? ABS light? Brake light? Oh, Jesus. Well, after extensive research, the trouble code for this is a communication error uh, with a module to the ABS module. So it could be the computer talking to that, la da yada yada. Uh, what I did the other day was I just took the connector off, cleaned it with um, brake clean, put it back together, and it was fine for a few days. But as soon as we get a little bit of humidity in the air, bam. So I got to get some dielectrical grease out, try that. And uh, yeah, there's a recall on this, but allegedly it was done. Same with the seat belt on this car. The two problems I have, recalls are supposedly done. What the hell? Those damn kids, they don't put anything back. Where's my dialectical grease? Oh yeah, I don't have kids. I'm gonna blame myself. Uh, let's see. That's a sealant. Mmm, shoe goo, that's good stuff. Not for this stuff. A new box of screwdrivers. Void lights. Ooh, blue. Ooh, there we are. Die! Die! Electrical grease. I'm gonna do some brake clean on the terminals. Yeah, all right, can you see what we're after? See that connector right there? This thing, you supposedly pull it out with your super strong fingers. Yeah, so that came out, I don't know if you can tell. And then we lift up. Can we get you a better angle? Yeah, I'll put you there. I can come down. Oh, that's, is it out all the way? Ah, there it goes, it's out all the way. <clears throat> Still not out all the way. There we go. Oh, then we lift up. Okay. So those terminals allegedly, there was rubber, the recall's rubber was missing from the sealant. So I'm guessing it's on the back side. Those, you know, every terminal has rubber going through it. And, uh, but I, you know, I'm not deep pinning that and do that. And there's one other connector next to it right here. This is just a little two terminal. Um, where is he? Yeah, there he is. He looks white. It's so bright. And this one, of course, the terminal connector broke. So it's just sitting in there. But it's still pretty tight. But those are like big terminals. Uh, they don't look moisture ridden to me i mean yeah they look pretty damn clean but i'm just gonna spray everything down and uh, hit it with the grease that's all i can do mm, can you see that those are uh, droplets of moisture in there but i did spray it the other day with isopropylene alcohol and there was a little bit of water in that that's nice. And the nozzle snaps off and brake clean blows back in your eye. Yeah, that's a that's good times. That's why they say safety glasses, kids, right? Again, who put this fucking nozzle? Who does this go with this can? This this car quest crap. My nozzle's gone. It's in the abyss. Red nozzle. Can't find it. Yeah, we'll make sure that I get in there. Now I'm gonna get a Q-tip and clean out that. Okay. No, well, I'm sorry my hands are the way. But there's only so much room in here for cameras, cameras. Let's see if I can look through the lens. Let's get a better, there you go. 
Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm gonna wipe all that extra out of there. This is just brake clean, so that should evaporate fully. Clean out that valve. Ooh, look how dirty that is. Jeez. Maybe this was the issue. I mean, I just don't. I guess anything's possible. All right. Now, why we use dielectrical grease is because it doesn't. Short answer: it doesn't interfere with the flow of electricity. You know, that's the way you think of it. it. It's made for electrical components. Put some dabs on these terminals. And we can see afterwards. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to smear that around with my finger, but you get the gist of it. All right? You can just put it on this end and smear it around too. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea too, because I shove it right down in the holes there. I'm gonna go all the way around in case this, you know, because the moisture could be coming around the outside. And it doesn't take much. I'm talking humidity. That's what's in the humidity changed in this. These terminals suck, apparently. Ford. Meh. Okay, okay. Let's see. <sighs> well, light stays on. Does it supposed to go out? Let's see. Ah, damn it. Now, the other day, all I did was clean this and it went out. Hmm. Do we just have a fault that's continuing to get worse? Damn it. All right, I had the key in the ignition. I don't know if that made a difference. So I took it out, took the connector off again, and yeah, light goes out, comes right back on. That time. But then I did it again, and just key on, that's your check. Yeah, see, it oh, went off and on again. Hmm. You could have something else going on. See, it went out there. Start it, came right back on now. Hmm. Some on a beach. Now let's go wiggle the harness, see if that light goes out. Sometimes it's just a connection issue, so. I, wonder, I don't think it's the smaller. The smaller connector is like to run the motor. So this is a communication error between the computer and whatever. That's still on. Let's see if we start it though. Yeah. Well, anyway, how do we get to this point? Uh, check ABS codes. It's very difficult with cheap scan tools. They do not read body computers usually. Um, I was able to find one. This gave a generic code. It was like for the passenger's sliding door sensor, which would be like an MPV. But researching whatever the code was, it's some stupid. I'll, maybe I'll put it in here. Um, it's like a generic code that communication with computer. Um, so that's not the wheel speed sensors. Those are going to give you different. That'll actually give you, you know, each left, right. Uh, front or rear check the tone rings the tone rings crack and uh, but this scenario is either the modules going or I don't know the pump hmm the brakes have always sucked in this thing what's your thoughts on Ford connectors anybody those pretty good the GM had really good waterproof connectors I don't know how these are uh, all right dumb little video no fix yet uh -huh. All right, here it is. This is a voluntary uh, recall from National Highway Transportation Safety, blah, blah, blah. But they make this confusing, though. Look at they got like, so I didn't think I was, because I went 4F2 blank is my C. And then it's Z, which I do have, blank, blank, 1, blank, 0, uh, or 3, that's me, 3KM. So this down here, do, 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 this is me too. I'm in that, I'm in that range. So, and as long as my production date is 
which I think, I mean, in those veins, it's obviously at production date. So that handles that, and that is for the recall. Let's get you guys to the top here. National Highway Safety. If I can even get these parts anymore. So don't, oh, four, Jesus. Oh, three, oh, four. Um, Mazda owner, blah, 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 national safety. There's no, like, number of this recall, is there? Yeah, I don't know. Anywho, and then the body, uh, the code is a B1342. And that's like a Ford code for uh, module module failure. So I could just need a new module, which I think they're probably $300 and not worth it. But Okay.